have not been following our channel or have watched any of our videos we just want to get you guys caught up to speed we were engaged July 21st of 2018 in Toronto uh, we we're getting married November 9th uh, November 9th 2019 in Turks and Caicos and we just want to get you guys like I said caught up to speed on what we've been doing where we've been why we haven't posted videos we are nine months out y'all nine months out the planning process is real and we just want to yeah bring y'all along yes, we can jump right into um how has the planning process been for you like what would you say yeah how's it been um for the most part it's been okay uh you know i think the hardest part for me because we are going through a resort so they're taking care of most of you know, the planning and setting up stuff, decorating, they're taking care of all of that. I think the hardest part for us was pretty much just trying to figure out who was coming. Yeah. Um, that's so hard with a destination wedding because, you know, to be honest, everybody say they're going to come, but when it come down to it, you know, it could be pricey, whatever the case may be, and you don't get as many people as you hope. So... It's kind of difficult trying to plan around that um, when you don't have a concrete yes from people, you know? Right. Like planning, when you say it's hard to plan for that, you mean like the location on the resort, right? right? I mean, the, as far as, you know, the location where you're having an actual ceremony, you know, if, if you want to do some sort of dinner or something like that, yeah. where you want to have your reception, yeah. um, all that stuff is dependent on who shows up, right. you know? So... That, that's extremely hard when you don't have concrete answers from people. So I would say that's been the most difficult part for me. What about you? Uh, the most difficult part, uh, I don't really want to go into it now. I think I'm going to talk about it in a later video. Um, but there has been some complications with some very important people in my life. Um, possibly not being able to make it to the wedding and that has been very stressful uh i told marcus i told my co-workers i told my friends like sh i probably won't have any tears for the wedding because <laughs> i've been crying them um yeah. up into the wedding so hopefully these people can make it um but if not um yeah I, I love them and hopefully they can make it, but that has been one of my biggest challenges is getting uh, some of the people that are closest to me uh, that I love the most there. So yeah, I would say that has been one of uh, my challenges. Um, so everyone always asks like, how is it planning a destination wedding if you haven't gone to this resort before? Um, the good thing is that we have been to a, we're getting married at Beaches, um, mm -hmm. but we've been to the Sandals, which is the sister company or the parent company of Beaches. Um, we went to their Jamaica resort uh, last Ocho April. Ocho Rios, I think it was. Ocho was it? Rios, yeah. yeah. Last April, and when I say everything was I, phenomenal. I it was phenomenal. It. The service, the food, the resort. The people were amazing too. Yeah. I mean, like, everything yeah. was on point. So I 100% trust that even though we haven't been to this resort yet, that they're going to do exactly what they did in Jamaica for one of our friends' wedding. So, um, yeah, it has been pretty easy as far as the planning process of, um, what colors we want to do, what chair covers we want, what centerpieces we're going to do, uh, what DJ will have, if we want live music. Like, everything has been fairly easy on that end. We speak to our wedding planner, Anthony, once a month. Uh, we're actually speaking with him on the 13th of this month. Now, just to plan out the particulars. That's, that's tomorrow. 
Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we speak with him tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Uh, and I probably try to record that too, um, just so y'all can see like our interaction with him. But he's amazing. I just emailed him this morning and was like, oh yeah, you know, I wanted this in this color. Now I need it in this color. He emailed me back probably within an hour and was like, you got it. That's what you want. This is your day. You have it. Uh, so he has been bomb.com i don't have any complaints with our resort or uh with our wedding planner at another all. thing we just kind of wanted to go over i know everybody why destination why destination i know we kind of went over it before but um you know beyond cost saving and then us loving to travel what were some of the like inspirations for you to to choose a destination wedding and the, the type of wedding we're having so my vibe that I want to feel, um, so I was born in 89, so I grew up in the 90s, and the vibe that I want my wedding to feel like is the wood. You bring in all your friends and your family together, and y'all reminiscing and talking about childhood, and then y'all celebrating that moment, and then the toast at the end of the wood, like... My people got to come with those toasts. And Marcus <laughs> said it too. Like, you know, my best man got to give a good toast. <laughs> my maid of honor already said, I'm giving a really good toast. Like, the toast that was at the end of the wood, which is my favorite movie. Like, I need that. I need that vibe. I need that music. I need Luther Vandross, If This World Were Mine, playing. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all which song that's going to be, but that's going to be incorporated into our wedding. Um, also, as far as like destination, I remember being a kid and watching Marta and Gina. <laughs> Marta and Gina getting married on this island, on this beach, and Babyface was singing. And I thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. Like, it was like, I'm probably six, seven, eight, around that range. Like, why was I so invested in their relationship? Why was I like tearing up at their wedding? Why did I feel like I was at their wedding? I have no idea, but I definitely want that vibe for my wedding. So when it goes back to inspiration, that is what I want to do. I want to be on the island. Um, as far as like color inspiration, I just want a clean look. I, I want a very clean look. And I'm not sure if we shared this with you all or not, but we are doing an all white wedding. Um, the all white is super clean. It's pure. It's fresh. Like, I just want it to be a, a clean look. I want memorable pictures for years on, and I don't want any vibrant colors or anything like that. Uh, another part of the reason why I want all of our guests in white along with our bridal party is because... Um, I want them to be a part of our wedding as well. Each and every person that has uh, spent this money and has invested in coming to our wedding and sharing this day with us, these are some of the closest people to us, right. and they're a part of our wedding as well. We love them. They are a part of our wedding. So, um, yeah, just incorporating them into the wedding, I thought, would be amazing. Yeah. Shout out to the Wades for that idea. Yeah, um, yeah. We saw that and definitely fell in love with that and wanted to do the same thing. Yep. Like she said, everybody that's coming are people that we really care for, love, and we really want to share this day with y'all. So that's why we doing that. I know everybody asking, why all white? Why all white? That's pretty much why. <laughs> Wedding planning um, can be very tedious for a person with a type A personality like myself. I have to have things read it out. I have to have them planned. I need dates. I need times. I need... I need structure when it comes to planning anything in life. So uh, when we got engaged and we booked our venue, Marcus went online and got me this. And y'all probably can't see it because of the light. Um, but this is a planner and he got this on Amazon, right? Mm -hmm. About yeah. how much? No clue. I don't remember. It, it was not expensive. <laughs> it was not expensive no. at all. But he got me this wedding planning or got us this wedding planning checklist. And it takes you all the way from your timeline, your budget, uh, your party, your gift registry, uh, hair and makeup, like everything that you would need to plan a wedding is in this book here. And if we find the link, we will uh, post it down yeah. below. But what were you going to say? I was just going to say, that's definitely, if you wanted to call it the Bible, it's definitely the Bible of, of wedding planning. I mean, it, like she said, it takes you down the list of everything that you need, as well as the timeline that you need to get it done. I mean, it, 
it even take you through like social media, how you should post or share your stuff on social media. So nice tool to have. Um, not necessarily saying that you got to go by this to the T, but right. definitely something to guide you along the way, especially with a destination wedding where you don't have a wedding planner that you are in contact with every day of the week almost, you know, to right. get stuff done for you. So definitely handy and I definitely recommend it. I also got this journal. Um, I like to document everything. So like if I'm feeling really excited about something or if I'm kind of feeling down about something, I want to be able to go back and relive my process. So that's what I'm using this journal for. And I got this from Walmart for about $3. Um, in addition to that, I got a calendar. I usually use the calendar that's on my phone. Also got this from Walmart. Um, I usually use the calendar on my phone because it gives me notifications, but I thought that this would just be something nice to keep and to have and I can always go back and look like, oh my goodness, this is when we took our engagement photos. <laughs> this is when we booked our wedding. When was that? Um, I know it's, I know the date, but I just have to find it. So right there. Can't even see you it. can't see it. Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just highlighted like, oh, we booked our wedding. We took our engagement photos and so forth. Uh, so I really think that these three things would be nice to have if you're kind of planning your wedding yourself. Um, so I just want to go into some of the things that we have done so far. Remember, we are nine months out. I believe that we are, uh, based on this book and people who have gotten married that I know personally, I feel like we are uh, ahead of the curve when it comes to the things that we have gone ahead and done. So we have taken our engagement photos. Yep. We found our venue. I just purchased my dress. Yeah. That was one heck of a process. It was It was a process. It was a process. And listen. Um, that was probably one of the top three hardest things for this through this whole process. I yeah, because I wasn't going. So... For y'all that don't know, like, I am, I don't want to say cheap because that's used so negatively, but I guess <laughs> <laughs> I was not trying to spend a crazy amount of money on a dress that I was going to wear for about two hours. Like I right. wasn't going. So it, it was a process. It was a process, but at the end of the day, I came out with a beautiful dress. I love it. Um, and yeah, y'all just gonna have to see it when y'all see it. Um, but yeah, we also um, went and got Marcus and James Tuck. Yeah, got fitted. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcus also purchased his shoes. I got my earrings. We got our axe gift for our bridesmaids and for our uh, groomsmen. So I have two maid of honors. I also have a matron of honor and six bridesmaids. And if you guys haven't seen the video, go check it out. I got them um, Pandora, is it Pandora? Yeah. Yeah, Pandora uh, bracelets. And it's just something for them to keep um, in memory of the wedding. They don't necessarily have to wear it to the wedding. A lot of my girls have already worn theirs and I love when I pop up on them and I they see them in their bracelet. <laughs> like it makes me really feel good that they're happy with their ex gift. And then Marcus got his um groomsman or sorry, not his groomsman. I got my best man. Best man. Apple watch. Yeah, he got an yeah. Apple Watch and yeah. how he feeling about that? He was pretty excited. He couldn't believe it at first, but, you know, he excited. He used it every day, so it worked out fine. That is awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so, we've also purchased our flights. So, I created this. Oh, so in addition. Sorry, y'all. I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, so in addition to these things, I also purchased a whiteboard. It's over there. I'm not going to show y'all that because it goes in detail of everything. But I purchased, purchased a whiteboard and I put specific dates and amounts that I had planned out uh, for everything. And I'm also like checking checking it off as we go. And it's in our room. So you can see it. We see it every morning. Mm -hmm. We see it every single day. Um, so that's what else I purchased. Um, so I'm purchasing Marcus ring this month. At the end of this month, I'm going to go ahead and purchase his ring. Um, and then what else did we get? 
oh y'all we finished our gift registry we are registered at target i'm yeah. gonna leave that link down below if y'all want to get us a early gift or a gift for the wedding definitely go on uh, target.com and like i said the link will be down below and yeah y'all get all that good information um we've put together a wedding playlist um uh, so that includes like Marcus intro, me walking down the aisle, our first dance, um, the mother and son dance, the father daughter dance, uh, the dance or uh, the song for our friends to come into mm -hmm. when they're being introduced at the reception. So we've gotten like quite a bit done. Um, We've also secured our videographer and our photographer. We'll be having a wedding trailer um, that we'll be able to share with everyone. Uh, we've also secured our honeymoon. So we'll be honeymooning um, at the same resort. So after our guests have gone and headed home, Marcus and I will be able to spend a few more days together and celebrate um, our marriage and our wedding and everything together. Um, let me see here. Two more things. Oh, we've done, um, my bridesmaids and I have gone to look at dresses. We are still looking to secure the dresses, but we just want to see styles. And I also have a clip of that as well that I want to add. Um, in addition to that, Marcus and I have seen a licensed family therapist and we mm -hmm. talked over some issues. So we're going through premarital counseling just to kind of clear the air of anything that we haven't disclosed ourselves. Like, alone um just so we know that we're going in doing the right thing so those are the things that we have booked and secure and that are on lock uh like i said y'all we are nine months out uh so i think that we are pretty much ahead of the game yeah you know everybody keep asking why destination wedding and we can't hammer this home enough um we trying to save money y'all you know yeah. hate to sound cheap or frugal but you know, That's it, the word I was looking for. It, it, it is what it is. But, um, you know, we we want to enjoy our day and we don't want it to set us back, you know, going forward five years or something like that. Because we Absolutely we not. plan for this on our own. You know, we our parents, they'll help out what they can. But, you know, most of the responsibility financially is going to fall on us. Right. So, um, destination wedding... I threw it out there. Kayla agreed. We went around. We did some venue shopping. And most of the places that Kayla wanted, almost 10 times more than what we're spending right now. <laughs> so it, it's working out perfectly from a financial aspect. And then from our experiences before, I'm positive the ceremony and everything won't disappoint at all. Um, another way that we're saving money, we're cutting out on unnecessary stuff like stationary you know yeah. save the dates and invites and all that type of stuff um we're using probably the most common tool out right now we're using facebook we shout got out a, to facebook yeah right we got a Sponsor private this video private facebook group um we got all our friends family everybody invited anything that we need to get out we put it right in the facebook group we see who sees it. Everybody could look at it right then and there. And, you know, everything is just out in the open. So that's saving tons of money. Um, like I say, everything is in that group. We ain't just sending out invites that's going to end up in the trash. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Turn into a dustpan. Right, a dustpan. A, a, a notepad or something. Right. I mean, people get it. It's cute for a couple months on the refrigerator, and then after that, it's taking up space and turning into trash. So, we saving money there. So, it's and we're saving out. the planet as well. Yeah, we saving paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing that we're saving on. Um, so at the resort, we have the option of getting real bouquets for myself and for my girls. But I'm just like, what can we? No. I don't want to have real bouquets that are going to be lost or thrown away or anything like that. So Amazon is my BFF right now. <laughs> I'm going to Amazon and my girls and I will be creating silk base bouquets. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all the process of these bouquets and they're going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Probably way more beautiful than the real ones will be. And then they can last forever. 
I don't know, maybe I'm a hoarder or whatever, but I still have the bouquets from the last three weddings that I was in, and they're incorporated into my house in some way. Um, so yeah, I still have yours, Talisa. I still have yours, Lexi. I still have yours, Yanka. I have all of y'all's um, bouquets still in my house. So yeah, I want to go ahead. What'd you say? So she ain't lying. <laughs> no, no, and they're incorporated into my decor. So thank y'all for supplying those. Um, and then another way that I'm saving costs. So, oh my gosh, y'all. When I was thinking about a destination wedding, I wasn't considering like, who gonna do my makeup? <laughs> like, I didn't think about that at all. So then I saw some, some people on my Facebook and Instagram, they were getting married and they had makeup artists that were from our city. So I was like, okay, well, you know, let me reach out to them. And I just found out that not only are we paying for their services because they are traveling and they'll be away from their regular clientele, we would also need to pay for their flight and their stay uh, while they are on the island. And I just found that really, really pricely. No knock to them at all because I would be the same way. You want me right. to do your makeup? Fly me there and put me up. You know what I'm saying? But that just wasn't conducive for what my budget was looking like. So um, in place of that, I'm having my matron of honor. She's going to do my hair. She's going to do my makeup. She does awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. So um, I definitely trust her to make me look beautiful on my wedding day. So instead of, you know, having all of those additional expenses, I'm going to have my matron of honor do my makeup. And yeah, um, that is the way that we are saving money. So in closing, thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I hope that we answer all of the questions that y'all have. But if not, don't be shy. Comment down below with more questions and we'll be sure to answer them. We can't wait to see y'all and spend our day with the people that are closest to us, the ones we love the most. Yeah, definitely. Um, we we just want to let everybody that's attending know we we appreciate y'all. We understand it's a huge sacrifice that y'all are making both financially and, you know, everything else y'all got going on. Taking off work, pretty much rearranging y'all whole lives temporarily just to help us celebrate our day. So we want to let y'all know we appreciate it, you know, and we love y'all and we can't wait to see y'all and have a good time. We love y'all. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, y'all.